This is another edition of Space Cloud. Brought to you by nothing, because we suck. Stay tuned. Mark Wahlberg from Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, and I'm here to tell you about something very unique and very important to me, and something that I think a lot of people deal with, and you should know that you're not alone. Many people you look up to actually suffer with it, including Zac Efron, Carrie Underwood, Lily Allen. In fact, I myself have dealt with it since before I was even born. I'm talking about a third nipple, okay? It's estimated that once in every 500 people have more than two nipples, and in most cases, they're actually mistaken for birthmarks. That's why I'm happy to announce Third Nipple Awareness Day. This is the day where you take you, your son, your neighbor, your mother's mother, or even that weird fuck who lives down the street who's obsessed with your kid. Any and all of you can unabashedly free the nipple and walk proudly down the street with your tertiary areola exposed. And in fact, I'm here to announce that on that day, you can also come into any Wahlburgers, get yourself a free plant-based quarter pounder. On behalf of yours truly, Mark fucking Wahlberg. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Beyond me can suck my third tit, piece of shit bastards. Space Cloud. <laughs> we are Space, Space Cloud. Support us by following the link. This is Danny Cash, and you are watching Space Cloud. I went on Tinder the other day. I'm swiping, and I connect, and I'm make like six matches in a row or something like that and I think one one girl that I reached out to sent a response and then that was it does that make me some sort of incel or some shit I don't think so all I said was hi it just instantly fades away like you're swiping and swiping and then you swipe and you make a match and you don't know what to do because or the people don't even say anything back to you they're more obsessed with swiping than actually focusing on what they have you need to realize that that's not working and you're more focused the app is making you more focused on how the app works than actually what its purpose is. You're not helping yourself. You need to delete all that shit. You need to get the fuck off. You need to go outside, get some fresh air, clear your head, work on yourself, exercise daily. Start turning things around for yourself and you'll bump into people. If everyone starts doing that, then you will constantly see people. And at the very least, you'll say hi, which is more than what happens on that app most of the fucking time. Usually it's a swipe and it's a match and nothing happens. Nothing fucking happens. It's a waste of time. You don't, you, you're spending all your time swiping. I found myself doing it where I'm literally talking to someone else on the app, and while I'm waiting for them to message back, I'm swiping to see who else I can connect with. Not even thinking that I'm literally talking to this person right now. If you're not focused on what you're doing, you can't expect to have the best possible outcome. Now again, I say possible. Doesn't mean it's 100% going to happen, but at least 
you can say you tried your best. If you're splitting focus, if you're still swiping, and you're not even focused on who you're talking to, that person's going to lose interest. And you're going to be scratching your head, oh, why can't I get anyone? Because you're not even focused on getting anyone to begin with. It's that simple. And now a word from our sponsors. We apologize in advance. Andre Brand Cigarette Milk. It tastes so good, you'll never come home. It tastes so good, you'll disappear just like your dad. Also comes in chocolate milk, strawberry milk, and expired milk. Also coconut milk and skin. And now, back to the show. <laughs> I'm going on space pal tonight. Catfish 69. Catfish 69? What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Catfish hermaphrodite. So it's like two people who are trans. They both think they're the other gender. And they both have dicks. And they 69 each other. But each other's dick is constantly in their mouths. Like it's like they're... Like they're they're stuck together like that. Yeah, they it's have like to, it's, they have to walk there like that all the time. Yeah, it's like a human cater- centipede. I mean, yeah, human, human centipede type shit. And they just roll around. Yeah, they just roll around. <laughs> now sometimes, no, but one person walks a certain distance and then they flip over, and the other person walks. Yeah, so they can't spend too long having the blood rush to their head. Yeah, if one of them dies, they both die. Yeah, that's a then curse. It's a curse. It's a there curse, but they also to... have the benefit of carrying each other, and they only have to walk half the amount. Yeah, they'll never be lonely. Oh, God, and they just walk, and then, and then they get tired of walking, so they just roll everywhere. Yeah. That's a catfish 69. The following is a paid program. We are, however, responsible for everything that will be said. What the fuck is this grass-fed beef shit, huh? You think fucking cows don't normally eat beef? You're trying to fucking trick us all. Or fucking see all these fucking A and W commercials, these fast food companies. Oh, we feed the cows. It's grass-fed beef. No, not even mentioning the fucking cow. The cow. You call it beef. Oh, well, it's grass-fed beef. You can't feed beef fucking grass the fuck you know fucking cow who normally eat fucking grass what the fuck you on about you fucking stupid just call it a fucking cow get on with your life instead of trying to be for a fucking PC I mean Jesus Christ some bold and fat fuck Please. maybe you need to be a grass fed fat boy fuck trim down And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Space cloud, space cloud, that's where I'm going tonight. Space cloud, space cloud, yeah. Hi. This is like crazy. There's a show. Not a show. There's a movie called The House That Jack Built. The Did House That it? Jack Built. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. If you're looking for that, you'll get it there. <laughs> you'll definitely fucking well, get it. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. That was made by uh, Lars von Trier, the guy that also Lars made Lars von Trier, yeah. Trier, yeah. That anti Semite. Um, yeah, I don't know if you know that. Anti-Semite. Well, he's insane. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. But he's fucking brilliant when it comes to making movies. Like, it's it's really weird, bro, because like, I do like uh, his shit. He's, he uh, made Melan, that movie. Melan, Melancholia? Melancholia was fucking awesome. Was fucking great. And Kirsten Dunst. You should see her she was, tits. She was, well, she was brilliant, dude. Kirsten Dunst, I think that was probably yeah. her, her most powerful role for me. And oh, absolutely. She was brilliant in it and also looks damn so good. So depressing. Naked. But like that's the entire point of the movie. 
It is. Yeah. Well, that's like anytime I talk to somebody, I'm like, did you like it? Like, it's so depressing. Like, that's, yeah, perfect. So I did exactly what it's called. Yeah, that's what it's fucking called. Melancholia. Melancholia means, God. Well, melancholy, what is that? Melancholy is basically just depression and you don't even know where it's coming from. It's just, it's like, well, the the Smashing Pumpkins album, Melancholia and the Infinite Sadness. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, and I actually I know we're I don't want to like start talking about melancholia, but I will yes. say this. Pizza. Okay, thanks. I want some fucking pizza. What the hell? No, pizza. I will say this, dude. Melancholia was just it was so great. And also just like when she ends up, Kristen Dunn's character ends up being like not really the hero, but like the leader at the end, where because she knows what depression is and she knows what no hope means for her. Like she knows, like it's just hopelessness all around. She knows how to like lead her sister. Who's like so full of fucking hope. And, uh, her, lead her, her to the it? dark side. <laughs> well, not to the dark side no. to, to death no. basically. Yeah, to exactly. Accept. That's it's what really makes it so accept. fucking great though. It's like, Holy you know? shit, dude, this is crazy, man. There's no, there's no happy ending. There's no swerve. It's like, this is what this movie is. No, 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 you're wrong. Deliver. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's not about a happy ending. It's about the fact that there is an end and the way you choose to go out is your choice. Kristen Dunst, her character, it didn't go. She didn't go out like a bitch. She went out like a boss. She went out kind of headstrong, like this is what it is, and we're gonna be fine. She became like the fucking victor at the end, right? Everyone thought that she was insane, that she was crazy, and all this shit. But she was actually the most well prepared, right? She was the most prepared at the end. She was ready, yeah, she's and she was able to. Fantastic in that movie, yeah. and then she kind of disappeared after. I don't know. Well, she she still makes movies. Like she, you know, she yeah. had that thing on Showtime, which was whatever. I think it was called. I didn't. Uh, wasn't was she it? in? Was it like American Fargo? Gods or some shit? I don't know. You know she's, she's married Fargo, to, by the way. Do you know she's married to? Meth Damon. Yeah. It's fucking insane, right? I don't yeah. know about you, bro, but it's it's it, when I found that out, I was like, I I feel I feel hopeful. I think I, I'll find so if Meth Damon found someone like Chris and Dunst, I think I can find someone too. Well, there is hope for us yet. The thing is, is that uh, what what I find is that okay. I was like, you're not gonna find, you know, like yeah, but then. <laughs> You know what happens is that it's more about the way you feel inside. Okay, and so, I don't know like, what that means. You you sound like when, a, a kumbaya. When you have like leader. like when when there's like two people like actors, okay, they're like similar kind of people, even if they look kind of one's like one looks like Meth Damon and the other one's Kirsten <laughs> Guns. You know, they kind of they're like kind of similar personalities, probably. No, but they look so actor. good together. That's the, that's the thing. They look so they good together because she's weird too. She's a really weird person. Exactly, that's and he's a weird, he's a really weird. Like honestly, he probably looks more normal to me when you're when they're juxtaposed. He looks and feels more normal than she does. Fair, 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 fair point. I, I don't know if I agree, but you don't have to. It's just a feeling. It's a vibe. That's an interesting vibe. It's I'm a not vibe. against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not it's against it. It's a, it's a weird vibe, but it's, it's a weird vibe. <laughs> yeah, man. So melancholia. What do you rate that? But dude, melancholia was easily like a nine out of ten for me. It was just a great wow. movie, man. I. I um, will never watch it again, probably for like the longest time, <laughs> because no, it really I, is. I it's really tough to watch. It. I have not watched it since I saw it when I don't know, probably the same year it came out, twenty eleven, I think. Yeah, it's just a tough watch because it is really sad, but it's man, it's super artsy, like the slow motion when she, you have like the the bolts kind of, you know. Yeah, exploding out of out of everyone's fingertips and shit. I have to. I don't remember. Well, you know. Okay, I I was like seventeen in two thousand eleven or something, and so 
I think I just remember that Kirsten Dunst gets it, like you see her naked in it, so I'm pretty sure that's why I checked it out. Yeah, but when she's naked, it's just like I couldn't even get into it. She's just so depressing. <laughs> like she did a great job in us not giving, or me at least, not giving a but shit that she's it, naked. It's just so I, depressing. I did. Really, I <laughs> I said right? I was she's a little bit older. I, I was a little bit older than you. I was just like, it's like God, this is really fucking depressing. And I think it I was, was in a, a relationship. Very oh, excellent. I was in a relationship at the time. I was in a I was in a long relationship, and my relationship wasn't going so well either. It just felt. It all kind of felt perfectly depressing. Oh, and also, her the movie her came out like a couple of years after. I, I yeah, believe. and that movie was also really fucking depressing, and that came out during my breakup. So there's a lot of depressing oh, movies that are just linked to my yeah, relationship. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Yeah, and while I was kind of like, like I mean, melancholia. I was like, well, I you were graduated. in your victory year. You were in your victory I had, year. Yeah, I was in my victory. Well, yeah. I'm hanging in the space cloud with my friends, and you know it's gonna be a party. We're gonna shake it up, we're gonna say things we shouldn't, we're gonna have to delete shit for sure. Space cloud, yeah, space cloud. We're gonna delete shit for sure, but not that part. Hi, I like hearing the sound of my own voice, and so do you. And if you say you don't, you're lying, and you'll see your own mother naked. C'est la vie! Now, drop us a follow before it becomes dad, too.